and for the headlines, farmers worse off after signing of rice terrification law. DepEd supports no homework policy on weekend. DOJ orders stop the arrest of rape convicts. Farmers said that the government's plan to release imported palay in the market threatened to weaken price further. The House members are blaming the rice certification law for the sharp decline in the farmer prices of palay, which have reportedly dropped to as low as 7 pesos per kilo in some areas. The price decline is now hurting the livelihood of an estimated 2.4 million Filipino rice farmers whom the government offered with zero interest loans instead of conditional cash transfers. On the other hand, Senator Cynthia Villar said the suffering of country farmers must be ended. Sana padaliin nyo ang implementasyon para makinabang agad ang ating mga rice farmers. The rice tariffication allows unlimited importation of rice as long as private sector traders secure a phytosanitary permit from the Bureau of Plant Industry and pay 30% tariff for shipment from neighborhoods in Southeast Asia. A voice with a purpose, the beat of the people. Charlene Basultin, Tinig News Patrol. The Department of Education, or DepEd, has expressed its support for the No Homework Policy Bill proposed by the lawmakers at the House of Representatives. So we can gather for the report. The Department of Education has expressed its support for the No Homework Policy Bill and will soon release a more precise guideline on the Current guidelines state that no homework should be given on weekends. While well, teachers are advised to limit assignments and will not require more than four hours to be completed during the phase. On the other hand, child expert Margulis is the to express support to the proposed no homework policy from the kindergarten to high school, saying it would help students achieve a school life balance and free the child from stress and anxiety. It gives additional stress and anxiety to the child. A voice with a purpose, the beat of the people. Shamika Engada, Tini News Patrol. The Department of Justice ordered a stop to re-arrest the heinous crime convicts who have allegedly been freed due to good conduct time allowance after spotting errors in the list of convicts submitted by the Bureau of Correction. The implementation of Republic Act 1059-2, which increased the good conduct time allowance of prisoners, has come under scrutiny after the Justice Department announced that convicted rapist killer Antonio Sanchez might release from prison because of supposed good behavior. The DOJ said a total of 1,950 surrenders have turned themselves in after President Rodrigo Duterte ordered heinous crime convicts that were freed under the GCTA law to surrender before September 19. The Metro Manila Police earlier said it will deploy tracker teams to pursue 106 convicts prematurely released under the GCTA law. To everyone, this is our call. Equality for all. To everyone, this is our cry. Equality for life. Equality for life. The Congressional Schools Press Conference is currently being held for the second time here at Nicomedes Artobar Senior National High School. Live online, your Teenage News Patrol correspondent, Mary Rose Baldustamon.
Mary Rose, what's happening there right now? The Mary of Rain are witnessing the 5th Congressional School Press Conference. They arrived at the Congressional Center for Senior National High School Center for Ilopino. A horde of over 2,000 campus journalists and school paper advisors from the 5th Congressional District met on the said event. And we can really feel the pressure here as this competition among journalists is about to start. Meanwhile, the last NSPC writer events, Philip Yuleta from Barata Pio National High School, aspired to be on top in the field of sports writing, Filipino. Hello, Vince. Good morning. Good morning. So, what is your goal in this year's CSPC? This year, my goal is not only to win, but also to improve my skills on writing, and most especially to inspire other journalists to strive more. Thank you, Vince. Another tough competition awaits for all students, journalists, this upcoming Division Schools Press Conference. These are the latest updates here at Nekomedes Artibor Senior National High School. A voice with a purpose, the beat of the people. Mary Rose Baldestaman, back to studio. The Saranon athlete Michael Angelo Lumawa snatches away the gold medal against his rival Nico Collar from San Genisio with a record of 2 to 0 leading to the next level. A 15 years old Lumawak is a grade 9 student of Sara National High School, Sara Iloilo. He is also a player in Iloilo School Sports Conference or ISSC Meet or an integrated player with a 2 years of experience. While a 17 years old Collar is a grade 8 athlete and a first timer player who represents the municipality of San Dionisio. The Wushu Sanda Championship event with a division of 50 kilograms is included in the 5th Congressional District Sports Association or CDSA meet that will be held at the Municipality of Batat this coming October 2 to 5, 2019. Good morning. 